face is hunger. I'm starving half to death. This is drowning. Just took my last breath. This is anger. Well, we got rained out today. I was gonna to try to do some saw mill, but it looks like the rain is not gonna let up on us. I set up twice to mill, but I got rained out both times, so I went ahead and called it. So we'll come out here to the workshop today and try to do some finishing up on this farm table I've been building. So this is what I would call the head of the table. And the little last minute design that I decided to do was to have a friend of mine who's got a CNC uh, machine He's able to do wood carving and make signs. He can do all kinds of stuff with that machine. And I took him this little piece of walnut and I had him see and see the, the uh, family name of the people that are buying the farm table. I thought that'd be a nice touch to have their name at the head of the table just on the apron, but right under the table. So you really can't see it unless you kind of look for it. But uh, I'll try to do a little focus in here. I'll take one of these clamps off so you can kind of see the work. See, that's, I don't want to take that other clamp off. I've not had a clamp on there for about an hour or so. You get the idea there. He also sent me a little uh, video showing the process of him making this on his CNC machine. And we'll go ahead and throw that in this video as well so you can kind of see where it came from. Now he's also got a, a YouTube channel, a friend of mine who made the nameplate for me there. It's called a Blazing Nail Gun. I'll put a link down in the description. He's got some real good videos on woodworking and how to build a pole barn and all kinds of stuff. So check him out if you have time. And uh, right there you see on the ledge, I had to do a little bit of an epoxy fill on a knot that I overlooked. There were several knots on the non-show sides of these legs that I went back and filled in with some two-part epoxy that way the knot would be stable and this overall looks a lot better. I apologize first for the lighting in the shop here. I'm going to have to get me some de decent camera lights if I do a lot more videos in here in the wood shop because the lighting is just not ideal. But, uh, before we start here, here's the two tools that I'll be using. The first one is the Lee Nelson uh, Brian Boggs Spoke Shave. And you're going to be dealing with a lot of end grain here, so you want this thing extremely sharp. So uh, make sure you get a good sharp iron on it when you use it. This tool is phenomenal. I'm going to use a rasp here also. This is also sold by Lee Nelson. It's uh, an RU rasp. It's, it's uh, I believe, French. Somewhere over in Europe where they make these, they hand make them. But uh, RU rasp, I think maybe the name, I can't pronounce it. But anyways, uh, this is a great tool also. I'll put a link in the description below to it. And what's neat about these rasps is they're handmade. They're not made on a machine. There's actually a craftsman that sits down and I've seen videos of him doing it and he hand punches all the rasp right here. So it does not tear out the wood in any way. These things work perfectly. And for $90, they probably should. Back when you loved me, you said no goodbyes. You made a deal right before my eyes. And like the devil in your life, dirty dreams fill the rest of 